Hey everyone, so today I want to talk to you about a lens that I've been using more often in basketball, and that is the Sigma 24mm f1.4 art lens. Now, I've been looking for ways to uh, change up the photos that I get from game to game at Pittsburgh State University for their basketball, and so I thought why not try to shoot under the basket with a wide angle lens and the only wide angle lens that I own for the Canon R6 is the 24 millimeter f1.4. And so I thought one of these games, I'm just going to get under the basket and I'm going to shoot a good amount of the game with the wide angle lens and see how it comes out. And I was really impressed with some of the images that I captured at the first game. And I thought it really added a different look from, um, all of the previous games I've shot with the 70 to 200 or the 85 millimeter. So the 24 really adds that cool different look um, and kind of changes up the photos that they use on their social media and for their articles on the website. So it kind of as it adds a nice variety to the stuff that they're showcasing with their articles. One thing about this lens that I really like is at f1.4, I can lower the ISO and keep my shutter speed um, pretty fast at 1 800th or 1 1000th. And that allows me to stop the action and get plenty of light in it so the grain isn't as high. Um, this gem isn't the brightest, f2.8. Not to get into too many details, it's very dark in this gem. And to shoot at 1 800th or higher, um, I comfortably have to be at ISO 6400, which is pretty high. Um, a lot of people got the luck of using flash in their arenas, but we don't use flash, so it's all natural light, and it's very dim in this gym. So anytime I can get a couple extra stops of light, um, I go with 85 millimeter, or now I'll be using the 24 at 1.4, or even at f2, and still get more light than the 70 to 200 would get. So I just want to show you guys some of those images and here they are. So this lens came in really clutch the other night as having a wide angle really allowed me to capture a awesome moment in the women's basketball game and that was the buzzer beater to win the game. I feel like if I was shooting with the 70 to 200 across the court in the corner that I normally sit in, um, I would have missed a lot of the action of the team um, rushing the court and the shot going up and the after the game um, cheering between the team and their little breakdown at center court that they usually do after a win. I feel like if I had the 7200 or 85, it would have been too tight and it wouldn't have taken in the full um, force of the emotions that were going on at the moment. So having a wide angle lens on a second body going into the future of almost any sport you can think of probably um, is probably a great choice to have. And so I'll be probably carrying the 24 millimeter way more often on my second body for most sporting events for this reason. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a pretty awesome video coming out pretty soon. I have a lens that I rented and so that will allow me to try out a lens that I probably never will buy, but I will say it's an F 1.0. So that should, um, that gives you a little hint of what it is, but I don't think anyone will probably guess it um, as it's not a conventional lens that you would put on a R6. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd also appreciate it if you would like and subscribe before leaving today and check out some of my other videos. Thanks.